In the last segment we left off with looking at the path tool and frames and I mentioned that this all over the place path is probably not the best way to go and I probably will reorder it simply because zooming back and forth across the Prezi canvas can make some people a little motion sick and we don't really want to do that. For now I'm going to escape from the path and this video is going to focus on embedding the Prezi within a Google Earth placemark and, and what that looks like. In order to do that you have to exit from edit mode so I clicked on the exit button up here. I'll click on it again because I'm impatient. And um, that brings us out to the page we started on. You can see down here there's a bunch of buttons which are interesting to explore around and think about what they do, but that's not what we're going to do right now. We are going to get the embed code. So you click on share and then you click on the embed button and then you copy the code to the clipboard. And it says it's copied. And then you enter into Google Earth. And in Google Earth I've got the Niagara Whirlpool uh, VFE here. And I've got um, a folder that's got a bunch of stuff within it that we'll uh, offer up. And that folder has a bunch of information about the VFE and it also has the current weather in Niagara Falls which is also done with embed code with the uh, Weather Underground uh, weather stickers. And now I'm going to add some more to this introductory blurb by going to edit and get info on the Mac and its properties on the PC. Uh, and that's unfortunate that those are labeled in different ways, but that's the way it is. And I'm going to add my Prezi down at the bottom, and before I do that I'm going to put in a couple of line breaks, which the I'm typing in the code for break, uh, just to make it so that there's a little bit of space between my weather sticker and my Prezi. And now I'm just going to paste in um, using the keyboard shortcut, I think. Thought. There it goes. And click OK. And now, when I click here again, it's going to open up. And I've got my introductory info up at the top. I've got the weather in Niagara Falls. And then I've got the Prezi down here. And I can play that uh, within the placemark in the, in the little scale, although it's it's uh, loading up as we speak, which does take a little while, and it is important that this is resource intensive on your computers, and you'll want to test out to see whether or not it makes sense to plug in um, your Prezi into your Google Earth uh, placemarks if your uh, um, computers and your that are student accessible can actually handle it. Um, and there we go, we're loading up. And now we can play through and zoom through and so on. And we can go to full screen mode directly from within Google Earth, which is pretty sweet. And then we can zoom around. Uh, I don't have an abstract in there as yet. I'll add that. I need to relabel that because it's not really Van Heys Rock. That's in Wisconsin. And there we go. Um, and I'm going to um, upload this Google Earth file to the uh, web and replace this text with a link to my Google Earth file. And then we'll be good to go.